Alright, so, how are we all doing boys? Hope you're doing well. Um, I figured since, you know, she's still the hot topic of the week, um, another PvP showcase for Merlin. This time, unit you know, we haven't seen in a little while, a boy Keo, um, of course since he's a bit off meta at the moment running with Deanne and Elizabeth, but first impressions on the team, I haven't tried it out before, so let's see how. Okay, so technically this is the third match, but um, First two matches we use CC food and I definitely realized it wasn't the go, so getting to the third one, we're using dodge food. Yeah, we're one of those players. Um it's two taunt units, so I'm really not too sure who I should go for here. We go for Merger and Deanne just to save us using as many cards as possible, and Hmm. I think we'll just attack into Droll to start off with. I mean, no real reason behind it at the moment, but. Damn, that was actually so much more than I expected. And we're getting a good card draw as well. Let's see. Um, so yeah, CC is definitely a lot lower than usual, which is why I thought CC food would probably be the best bet. Um, yeah, we did just get one tapped by Eskinos, in case you were wondering. That's definitely how those went. Um, speaking of stuff to talk about, um, we have gotten tons of news that I just haven't made a video to actually say anything of, so... Um, the, uh, what's, Stranger Things collab is 100% confirmed and happening this Tuesday, this, I don't know if they, because they're saying they're going to make it perfectly linked with Japan, so we don't know if it'll be the exact same day or if they're just trying to, like, same week kind of thing, like they, did they do that with the Attack on Titan? I don't know, but, I mean, units have been released, or at least, like, sneak peeked, uh, we've got the four characters we're getting, hasn't been told who the free ones are, um, if you guys have seen Stranger Things, we're getting them in their kind of Dungeons and Dragons form since most of them are heroes, yet yeah, are uh, heroes, are uh, humans, so probably wouldn't have made the most interesting characters. Um there goes Keo whilst I was rambling. Okay, um I feel as if though we just do this and I feel like this DN card should kill the droll. I'm really hoping. You see, to take heaps of damage from the Merlin. Um, plan here is to kind of just rush ult, use this as broken shield to protect myself. That's all right. Um, yeah, I feel like we'll just AOE and then single target into Meliodas. Um, probably wasn't the best match to show off Keo, but oh well. Um, and in case you guys haven't noticed as well, check your inbox. We all got 300 gems for global just being terribly played out well not terribly played out they tried their best and they're doing a great job but for all the mistakes they've made and yeah jp are also getting 300 gems for a card error on chandler so oh well there we go um this should definitely kill the lost fan my dn66 actually bought some extra headpieces for her as well since we have got that um, this scounded costume thing going on at the moment. Figured if I don't buy them now, I'll just end up paying extra for them later. Um, this match is basically one. Let's see if we can get onto one where Kia will do something. Here we go, second match here, and a Lolly Merlin team along with Sariel. Um, that's the thing, despite the fact we're using avoid food. Um, okay, I think our best bet's just to throw into uh, Elizabeth to start off with. And hold on to the DN card for next turn. Um, but yeah, no. Heaps of exciting content coming, which is just great. Definitely should have thrown out the DN single target first, but... Yeah. That's alright. Um, also, uh, which I was really surprised at. The fact that they're doing... Is it three or four towers? Three of the old towers and the one we were meant to be getting. All at the same time, apparently, so... I mean, that's heaps of content. Heaps of gems as well. They're giving out something like... 600 gems just in that along with the um like the actual login bonus we got so that's despite everything else they're doing as well like they're definitely trying to make up for all the you know salty players and whatnot um nothing super crazy happening for the club like free wise you know we're getting like a free multi and whatnot but super excited to see how it goes um Looks like the story could actually be really interesting. They dropped a trailer and whatnot, so that's cool. Ready to see 6-6 six, six Dustin one-tap Eskinors in PvP, so 
that'll be absolutely great. And wondering if, you know, people will even just skip the, you know, collab in general and just... Okay, we actually have a lot of Keo cards. Um, yeah, if people just skip the collab and just, you know, summon for... Um, the, uh, gosh, just trying to think of my turn there. For the ReZero collab instead. Gosh, took my time. Yeah, damn, okay. As long as there's no Escanor, I mean, Keo just does great. This recovery is disabled, which is a bummer, but... Oh, here he is. And this is Deanne's sole purpose, to stop Escanor. Um, I feel like I should say about my Deanne, she definitely isn't well about it. She has her, she has UR gear, but yeah, as you can see there. She doesn't have Tara Meal Link or anything, so... Melon's passive. Didn't proc there. Okay, but, I mean, he's got plenty of Ignites on him, so... He's as good as dead. Oh, I didn't mean to use that Kyo card, whoops. <clears throat> yeah, as you can see there, like, as long as he survives three turns, he usually, like, can start putting in heaps of work, so... There's, like, a big thing about him where, like, is it better to build HP or is it better to build attack? I'm just one for big numbers, so... Of course, I'll build him attack, um... Figured, uh, might as well get the ultimate off since this is kind of half his showcase. Um, I do actually have my KO 3-6 as well. I ended up actually getting a dupe from a single just before the 600 and then for my 600 I also purchased him. Yeah, no, I also have Rugal 1-6 but missed out on Athena and Maya, which is a bummer. There you go. And we'll get the victory screen out whilst we're here. Onto the third match. Okay, so getting into this next one, and there is absolutely no shortage of Assault Mode Meliodas teams right now. They are just non-stop, and to think it was a banner that, you know, everyone was saying don't summon on, they are just everywhere in this rank, oh my god. Anyways, um, uh, this is definitely a real player. The loading screen took like a solid 20 seconds, so might even just disconnect. Does that proc the evasion? Yeah, okay, he definitely knows what he's doing. Hmm. Prox heavy metal. Okay, that's all right. Um, think we just go for the rush Yan alt play with the attack into draw. And we go and then hope for some better draw next turn. I mean, as long as we can kind of, uh, but we kind of have to kill draw in the same turn that we attack Meliodas, because otherwise we'll just chuck up a he another heavy metal and just be invincible. We haven't been playing an awful lot of AoE cards either. Is he just going to go straight for the Assault Mode ult? Ugh. That could be bad. Okay, well, I mean, he doesn't have, like, mod speed or anything to remove my ult gauge, so... Okay, and we can't exactly kill Droll either. So, neither of these two will actually get their ultimates. Um... Hmm, let's see. I'll go with that for the moment. I'm really not too sure how our damage output's looking, so... I mean, with the rule, I sh imagine it would, yeah, kill. Okay, now we just got to fingers crossed that he didn't get any heavy metal cards. Yeah, damn, that could actually did real good. Um, yeah, hopefully he hasn't got a crazy good hand right now, or otherwise we just insta-lose, kind of had to take the risk there. Can't even tell whose gold card that was either. Oh, yeah, no, um, Dan's definitely... Living. She's definitely living. Oh, damn. Okay. And no heavy metal? Okay, that's definitely a problem. Um, actually, it's not even a problem. Hold on. I think we can just do this and just wipe everyone. Just go for triple AoE and watch Keo burn them all. Damn, okay. Keo actually popped off. Let's go. Well, I mean, more less skill is still alive, but there's no Assault Mode Meliodas, so... And we can just... If that ult one-taps anyone, we've got revives, so... Should be alright. There we go. We've even got a stun to play around with if we need, so... Hmm, let's see what he does here. Back into Merlin. That'd be absolutely great. Nah, okay. Kind of expected that. But yeah, no, um... Back to event stuff, I've just been completely sidetracked again. Um, so good that we're actually catching up to JP. I mean, 
I actually feel like I said most of the stuff before. We are getting level 90, which... Oh, there we go. I'll just go straight into the next match. Um, we are getting level 90, which I expected it to be level 80. Get some, you know, whatever the new demon's called, along with some crimson and go straight to 90. But there is a little, you know, 85, 90 progression that you have to do. And looking at how many materials you need, it is completely unreasonable. Like, you need something like 30 of these materials to go from 80 to 85, and then 40 to go from 85 to 90. So, I mean, yeah, you don't want everyone to just have, you know, full box of level 90 units day one, even if they purchase, like, packs or anything, but that's a lot of materials, you know. And, I mean, it's been said before, but to build a character just takes so much effort, like... You are gear, super awakening, costumes, cosmetic upgrades. Now level ninings a difficult like thing to do as well. Like I'm sure it'll get easier over time. Also getting super awakening five, which is nice. Um, definitely not ready for that, but apparently they're giving out SA coins, so should help out a lot. Um, let's see here. You see another assault on Meliodas team. It's no shortage of them. Merger on the Keo and. Yeah, I think we just throw out that. That way we've only got good cards in our hand. Okay, please, good draw. We've liked a merger on the Merlin, but that's all right. Um, okay. I, reckon, I mean, if we had six Ignites on that Assault Mode, actually, with the rule, we might even be able to do it with two. The double single targets. And again, we still have to proc that passive. That's still, that's, yeah. Oh, that completely stops it. I thought she was immune to Petrify, because, like, the whole heavy metal thing. Um, yikes. Um, jeez. We go. I think we just go for this. Um, actually, I definitely should have thrown out Kyo's AoE instead, but... Damn, level 1's actually doing damage. Will that kill Droll? Nah, okay, yeah. Definitely should have rushed Kyo's ult there. That was my mistake. Let's see what he can do here. I mean, in all honesty, if he procs heavy metal, we can definitely just take him out and kill assault mode. Unless he kills... Actually, no, we should be all right. I'm actually surprised at how good we're doing against assault mode teams with Merlin, you know? Okay, I'm completely going to ignore the fact that... Um, throw out the Merlin AoE first, so hopefully we kill Droll. Um, yeah, just gonna completely ignore, ignore that ult. Who cares? Proc the passive on Droll, and then just wipe his assault mode with a one-star card, mind you. You see, I mean, the fact that they're doing a rerun and you can get this unit now, or you will be able to get them, is just great. Like, I know his substats and stuff are a little crap, and like, you know, he hasn't got like the most game-changing ult, but his passive is just so fun to play around with, so... Definitely you, know, you don't want to miss out on. Yeah, now we've got an Immortal Droll. And one AoE card in our hand. Time to stall, baby. Oh, kills Deanne as well. I mean, that's great for us. Was that a Petrify? No, okay. I mean, hopefully we can just pull Elizabeth and a bunch of AoE cards. Yeah, there we go. Um, A bummer we can't stop that Droll ult. Actually... Could we? I just don't know if that'll kill Molescula. It definitely should. We'll just do this. If it doesn't work, who cares? We have Revive and whatnot, so... Goddess Liz is overpowered. Ooh, please kill Kyo. Yikes, that's a bummer. Oh well. Damn, look at that. Okay, well... I mean, he doesn't have any AoE cards, so he will have to break the shield with the ult, so... That's fine. Unless he does that. Okay, um... I mean, goal of the video is to kind of get a 3-star Keo AoE off, but... I doubt that'll happen without a Merlin. Um, Keo just getting absolutely one-tapped right there. Damn, um, is this a comeback? Hold up. Okay, nah. Throw out this and that should kill... Oh my god, how are they so tanky? Oh my god, how are they so tanky? They've barely got any resistances on them. Well, they have three each, but 
So many ignites. No way he has another heavy metal. There's no way. If he does, I think I might just skip to the next match. Okay, there we go. See you in the next one. Watch us get another assault mode team. Oh, okay, never mind. Um, this is actually extremely bad for us. <laughs> um, and we're not getting good draw either. Hmm. Okay. God. Um. I think we should go for the rush DN ult without actually getting it play. Um, I can imagine I'll probably just proc avoid. Oh no, never mind. Did absolutely zero damage to the shield though. Gosh. Please get. Ooh. Okay, never mind. We're still in this. We are definitely still in this. Um, <clears throat> definitely going for the on oh, no, DN. Hmm. And I can almost guarantee you his DN's actually built out. So. Hmm. He has got a lot of ignites. I mean. Actually, I think we'll go for the AOE first, just in case that can break the shield. And I mean. With the help of Kyo's Ignites... Okay, yeah. Gosh, this DN's tanky. We can hopefully get actually half of her health down. Yeah, no, you see that? Kyo's still doing stuff, okay? It might not look like it, but he's definitely doing stuff. Um, I really want to hold on to this AoE, but... Like, in case I can get a level 3, but it's not looking like it. Ooh, what is he doing? I don't like this at all. Okay, um... Watch, just get a fat one tap on us, gonna... Oh my god. I definitely should have thrown out the KOA. Oh my gosh, no. That's such a bummer. Oh well. Here's you got in the back, bring it. I'm pretty sure my DN still has one turn of taunt left as well, so... She can just soak all those Escanor hits without getting crit on. Um... Probably the reason why he was so tanky as well. I still really need to build out. I really want to build out a gear set for Gil Thunder and Hendrickson. I just, with all the crazy stuff happening, you know, Zeldris collaborations, reruns, catching up to JP. I just don't want to be wasting materials. I'm sure you understand. Um, nah, watch this though. Yeah, Dan more like built different. <laughs> okay, let's get this over with. I'm done embarrassing myself. <clears throat> um. Okay, I think we just... Mm. I mean, if we put that up, I mean, we can at least soak one hit from Escanor with the Deanne taunt, so... I don't think Ill Thunder can kill that, so... This is looking like another win. Not much as interesting is going to happen. Let's just get on to the final match. Okay, um, I mean, if the Keo 3 star isn't happening in this match, it's not happening at all. Um, getting out CC'd as well. Pulling an extra AoE could be good. Okay, let's see what he does. Um, not too sure if it's a real player either. Running Blue Dairy as well with Escanor. Is it? Yeah, okay, it's looking to be a bot, which means... I can hopefully stall that, even if it's just a 3-star AoE on one unit. I just want to show it off for the video. Oh. I didn't even know Derry could do that. Well, I mean, at least she threw that out first turn so that we can... kind of throw this out now. <laughs> um... I think this is our best bet, because I could almost guarantee he's going to taunt next turn, so... Get all the single target damage off on Escanor whilst we can, please crit. Sweet. And then we can just throw out AoEs next turn. Not that we got that many though, because I want to hold on to the Kyo ones, like I said. Did he even use any Derry cards? No crit, Lamau. You see, look at that. Dian's just so anti-meta against Escanor, it's so good. I mean, if you ever see an Escanor crit, you Dian will... It's basically impossible, I won't even say if you see it. Um, Watch this, just wipe go through. I mean, I know I wanted to kill Escanor, but... Watch this. Watch this single target just pop off. 
Never mind, take back everything I said. I definitely should use the key away away. I'm stupid. Okay, um, put us in a bad spot, but that's all right. Keep this interesting. Hmm. Also, um, I feel like I should probably mention, I was free to play it at the time Keo came out, but sometimes, you know, you gotta break into the funds just to get collaboration costumes. I was very disappointed in myself at the time, but look at me now. And Deanne's just straight up not dying. There we go. Um, I feel like we don't really have to throw anything out. I mean, I'll single target him just to be safe, but this should almost be an MI. I forgot the fact he doesn't have Ignites. Okay, well, that kills Escanor, and it's not looking good for that three-star AoE. But, I mean, I feel like we've done pretty good on the win ratio this match. I, we've only lost one match, I think. Maybe two. I'm not too sure, but... Um, actually, this isn't looking half bad. Um... Hmm. Killed the in? No. That is way too much damage on Kyo. Oh my god. I'm definitely getting rid of you. Okay, um... And that kill- oh, actually, no, never mind. I forgot about the rule. That should have killed. That should have killed. Um, yes, our three-star AoE finally came. I mean, unless they just wipe Keo this turn. Please? Okay, I thought there was one more punch then. My heart just sunk. Oh my god. Um, here we go. It finally happened, like I promised. They could just imagine back when he was like, who didn't get one tapped and you could just run freely in the front. He could just wipe teams second, third turn in. And like, it was just a sight, you know? Um, also the fact that his passive has, uh, every ignite you have, he, everyone gets like more defense or something. I don't really know how it works. Um, let's just kill this goddess Liz and finish it. Look at that damage. All right, so that just about does it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I mean, I really kind of just ran out of ideas for units to run with uh, Merlin, but I mean, hey, turned out all right. Um, please drop a like and subscribe. It really helps out and means a lot to me. Um, and I'll see you guys for some more Grand Cross content.